It's just Lewis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, then I never saw you here. While I was here. So it doesn't matter if we're in. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was, I mean, just as soon as when you turn around and walk here, down this way. Mm. That's what we're gonna. Go we're gonna. To the the floor, yeah, we're gonna run it again there. Right, yeah, yeah. That's we're gonna. We'll run it again there. Okay. So this time, can we clear everyone? Everyone, bar Howard, please. Total silence on set. Rash came about. Uh, myself and the director Owen, we were at a uh, film seminar held by Chris Jones and um, they showed a trailer to a film called Tangerine which was shot purely on iPhone 5s. It looked absolutely stunning, we looked at it and we thought it looked like 16mm. During this seminar they were chatting about the potential future of independent filmmaking, how certain films uh, in essence, cameras are getting smaller, cameras are getting cheaper, and how more and more films look like can be shot on iPhones and look like 4K and stuff. And we saw the footage, the trailer of Tangerine, we thought it looked absolutely stunning. And then we thought, you know what, why don't we come up with an idea where we can shoot something on iPhones? Uh, the film's set in London. It's a story about three characters, Daisy, Tom and John. As told from their points of view, literary in some cases. Each uh, character has their own camera. Daisy's case, she's uh, in the police, so it's a body cam. John and Tom are YouTubers, kind of, to a certain degree, or vloggers. Uh, so they record their own lives. And the whole idea is that the film is ju just through those cameras. And we basically have three characters, different points of view, over 48 hours, all done from different, all done from iPhone 5s. So our idea was to utilise new way of independent filmmaking, use these iPhone 5s, which are 4K, and shoot them all first-person perspectives. So it basically covers each of the characters, in essence, become the camera operators. So it's all first-person points of view. It's all right, lads. It's all right. It's G. He's got his music. Oh, yeah. Um, so, my character is a Nigerian musician. Um, he's come from quite a difficult, well, he's had a difficult upbringing. His parents, well, his dad isn't around anymore. And I think this has really affected him in growing up because he just feels like his dad's really let the family down. And with what you'll see, which happens in the film, um, there's, there's a lot of things that he's, he's dealing with inside and he's trying to find a way out of their current situation and it's not as easy as you can imagine as it is. Um, so it's quite interesting and also he's a vlogger so he vlogs a lot um, which I think is quite common. I think we've all sort of become vloggers now like with such apps as Snapchat, um, Instagram. Like a lot of people are now starting to overshare and share a lot of their lives on the internet. Um, and John seems to do a lot of that. And he shares quite intimate moments with like his subscribers on YouTube. He has quite a huge following and it means a lot to him. You beat the fucking shit out of you! You beat the fucking pussy! You're a fucking tough guy, cheers old man. Rob, fuck anything! It's quite hard not to do that stereotype I'm a gang, or proud Al Capone kind of thing, because it's all been done before, and it's not that type of movie. It's, um, it's been shot in a way which has never been done before, I think. Um, obviously, you've got other big films like End of Watch, the one that I thought of when I heard the star that we shot on, because it's all documentary style, and Wreck, the horror movie. Um, but because of the cameras that we're using, and the way we're doing it, like we are the cameras, we, we're the actors, but with the DOPs as well, with the guidance, um, I think it's such a unique style of shooting, a unique film itself. And thought, how real can we make this, or should we make this? And I think the answer is very simple, it should be as realistic as possible. The filming's of that style, and the message of this film is very, very clear. Your decisions have consequences. Everyone's come today, and we are filming a project. All right, when it comes out, hopefully it'll be perfect. Yes. We'll come up perfect. Don't uh, worry about that. Lovely cast over here. Lovely cast. Uh, mainly me. Cruise mainly role. me. Nice. I'm one of the young bad ones. No, no honestly, honestly, everything's that everything's genuine smile. It all came out really well. Uh, the actors were amazing. Thank you. Um, <laughs> thank you. It's, it's really like, top quality. You don't want like to miss it, trust me. Yeah, yeah, come, yeah, come, come put your own words into it, man. It's not just us. 
Yeah, I'm pretty good. Interviews, whatever, but, uh, you know, production. Did you like it? Did you like season? working with the people? It's been good, good, yeah. It's been good. It's been a real good experience, you know, just, you know. Yeah. Very good. It's ready to go again. It's very, it's very enjoyable, like, make, working with make people Make sure that you know. watch it. All of our faces are going to be in it. Especially yeah. my face. Especially <laughs> mine. Yeah. Needs a few more fans. I mean, it's, it's, it's not mine. Needs a few more fans. I wish I could see it. I wish my face now, yeah? We've been growing a month or so. So, um, yeah, this past few months has been really good. Be looking for more film work? Well, these guys, always. Always. Well, of course. There is, though, just working in general. That's just the main things. Like, whatever pays the bills, right? Do you know what I mean? You have to work to survive. And obviously, it's all part of the experience as well. Do you know what I mean? You might as well enjoy it. The experience, oh, yeah. cast members, the crew, directors, producers, Everything. everyone that comes together in order to make this happen is the reason why well, it's here. awesome, man. Yeah, I'm glad that Yeah. It might be part of a, a great team as well, just, you know, the opportunity, just working together to get things done in a big project. That's the whole thing right there as well. Yes. Watch out for the sequel, maybe coming soon, right? Maybe a sequel. Don't lie about yourself. <laughs> Okay, oh, no. I'm gonna go again from the top. Oh, what happened, Jake? Okay. Fucking cut oh. balls. Did it cut out? Did it cut out just be fucking before you put that in front of his face, you said the line. Nah! Oh, go! Go! Ah! Okay, that's really annoying. Now we're done. Go on, let's go just get to you. Over let's, we can just, we can, we can start that then. We can run that scene from there again yeah. and again. Yeah. Um, and we'll just do you line the ground with some blood there with that water. He's gonna be moving around, so just. Keep an eye out if you're going to be moving with the camera. Right. Everything's a problem. Because everything's new. You've got your traditional way of filming, uh, where you have a camera and you can offload that, and you have a crew of people behind that, and you can place it still, or you can move on the shoulder and you've got a set path. Whereas with this, if it's the person's camera, you're not going to see them talking. You're not really going to see any of them. So you need to find an excuse to give someone else a camera. In this case, Darren is the partner of Daisy. So this is what Daisy sees. And if the whole film was like this, it might not be that interesting because when it comes to quite an emotional point, you're just going to be hearing Daisy's voice. Um, we did have a scene where there was a mirror, but we couldn't find the right location to, um, to film that, unfortunately. So it's interesting. You've got to really sit down and think about things a lot. Me and Matt, we kind of wrote ourselves into a lot of bad places that we had to figure out uh, but we did and I think luckily enough the decisions we made were made it a bit tougher to do but made the end result better yeah so when um, obviously because the iPhone sits right here and I'm kind of mic'd up and I've got secret batteries and wires and stuff but it's very much like when you have a conversation with someone because you're very much aware that the iPhone needs to be on their face Often it'll be a case of kind of just tilting it up slightly and making sure the distance is actually quite uncomfortably far. Because if you're too close, then you literally are just getting like the person's crotch, basically, or just their middle. So it's really, you've got to be quite self aware of how you're standing. A lot of chest pushing out as well, like that. Um, especially when we're shooting the scenes in the car as well, we've got to be overly like to the side and up. And it kind of feels really unnatural and you kind of like acting at the same time. But um, but yeah, after every take, you know, director checks it and makes sure that we actually, you know, get in the person's face and shot. If not, we've got to do it again and again. Oh, I absolutely love this crazy world where allowed, and I do mean allowed, because some people don't ever get this opportunity, which is such a shame. I mean, there's so little work out there for so much talent in the world. And I think people should be allowed to do more stuff like this and have the opportunity, because I think there'll be less violence, actually. The more art is shown and cared for and portrayed, the less violence we'll have.